Drawn in Yokovango Delta, a rich haven for wildlife, including endangered animals such as the wild dog and cheetah, an exciting destination for tourists, and a way of life for the people that live there. But is it a rewarding life? Owen is the camp manager at Santa Juani Lodge in Botswana's Okavango Delta, and his main income is dependent on tourism. Santa Juani is, however, an unusual example of a community-based conservation-orientated business, both owned and managed entirely by and for the benefit of the local community. In the past, most such enterprises have been leased to established safari operators, often with minimal benefits accruing to their community partners. But when the previous lease expired in 2001, the government gave the concession to the local Bayayi people from San Cayo village. They in turn implemented a community-based natural resource management scheme and from early in 2002 started operating the lodge exclusively by and for themselves. Community members work at the lodge and monies collected from tourism are used to develop the community. For example, the money is used to send young people to college, build houses for the homeless, look after the elderly and pay for funerals. Maggie is Owen's cousin and runs the bar at the lodge. My name is Maggie Kitwalich and I enjoy staying here. And I, I realize this is a, a good project and I think, and I, I enjoy it. And the reason why I enjoy it is because uh, I meet with different people. Normally I enjoy meeting with people. Maggie believes that the project is sustainable and will still be viable in 10 years time. In the past we used to conserve animals and we, we conserved them through totems. But nowadays um, animal conservation is high and it, it's good because we are having more people come visiting here to, to see those animals and it's is bringing money into our country. Totems are symbolic animals that represent families within the community. My mother is a Muyei. Her totem is an elephant. An elephant is a, it's a, it's a good animal to my family. But it's my mother's totem. If she eats it, she have a swollen skin. My, my totem is an elephant. Charlie is a guide at Santuani and is a great believer in the benefits of tourism for his community. Now the people are now interested in tourism. Santuani runs along the southern boundary of Murami National Park and so has all the fauna and flora but only a very limited number of tourists, thus making game viewing a much more solitary affair. So it's better to do it here in Santuani. In, in this area, in Sanku community, before people get to in tourism, we're using to, to hunt animals like uh, buffaloes, uh, impalas, but now uh, those animals, that we are now in mm -hmm. tourism, so the tourists just come here to pay for some money to the community mm -hmm. in which we benefit from, from that money, from those animals. So, but now all people from the village, they just know more much about tourism. All people in from Sankuyu, they are now relying on uh, animals, wild animals, which brings money to them. So in, in that way, we have to treat uh, some animals as we treat our child from where we are from. My name is Frank. I, I like wild dogs because it's one of the seven species here in the jungle. I like them when they hunt because they hunt in a group. It appears that Santuani is a success story. The wildlife is flourishing and Sanko village is thriving. A symbiotic relationship seems to have developed. Because of this, it is hoped the government will continue to support it and it could be seen as a model for other communities in similar circumstances in Africa and perhaps the rest of the developing world. There are, however, many unanswered questions posed in this short film, and I intend to return and follow them up. The community members seen here are proud of what they've achieved. They are positive and hopeful for the future. Perhaps ecotourism really can and does work in favour of both conservation and development. Let us all hope so. Kazi ya ripita ulete, kazi ya ripita ulete, kazi ya ripita ulete.